This water represents the rain we get during monsoon season. The rain that's fine. What's the soil? The soil would soak it up just like that. This next step, this is the wind. The wind comes by and it blows over a whole new layer. That's why when you guys look at the sandstone, it's not just whole one layer, it's layer on layer. The rain comes back again, repeats the process, and it just keeps happening over and over again for millions of years. As this keeps on going on, the weight of all the dry and wet sand begins to compress and compile down. So over time, <clears throat> yeah, it will start to compress down. That was, this is the last time I'm putting it on? Right there. So as all this soaks in, the time and the weight starts to pressurize it like this. Then as time goes on, it gets covered under with all this sand, making all these sand beads. As time goes on and a huge windstorm comes through, it'll remove all the sand, but leave the new sandstone. Look at that. So because of this, yeah, there's a lot of reasons why we have this type of stuff. Look at that. It fell. So when you guys are here, look. You're able to pick it up. When you look at it, look at all those layers. Same thing with me. So this next step, oh, there we go. It kept the shape. This next step, this is how it looks like when we get the flash floods. Hold on, hold on. I dug it in a little too much. Dig it back out. Oh, there we go. So right here, this is now the floods. When the floods come through, the floods act like a hot butter knife and just cuts through. Mm. Over time, yeah, it gets deeper and deeper. Other than that, it's just the water shaping it out. See how it gets wide? Then when you go back through, go really slow. It gets deeper. Yeah, that's how long these canyons form. That's when you look at it, it's not just one single layer. Every time it goes through, it gets deeper and deeper.